Hello, this is Eric with Bain Group. And today I want to show you how you can create Excel dashboards with data deriving from a SharePoint list. So let's begin. This is part one out of a two part series. So stay tuned for the part two. In this example, my SharePoint list contains a list of sales orders, indicating what location they were bought from, when they were bought, which representative sold it, what type of item we bought, the number of units sold, the unit cost, and the total revenue. So let's start working on our data. In order to create our Excel dashboards, we do have to export to Excel. So let's do that first. You're gonna download a query and you'll have to open this. You will be prompted with an Excel security notice. If you do trust where your data is coming from, you can enable it. Okay, now we have our data in Excel. And what we're trying to achieve today is we want to be able to visualize all this data so we can easily assess and make decisions based on this data without having to go through each one of these items and examine them individually. So in order to do that, we need to create a series of charts and put them together into one single page. So let's start by creating our separate charts individually, and then we'll bring them all together into one page. Okay, so let's create our first chart. What I like to do is I like to click into the data table itself, go into insert, I like to go to pivot chart and pivot chart and pivot table. Once you click that, make sure your table is selected as the table or range. And I like to create my tables in a new worksheet. That choice works fine for me. Just click OK. All right, so let's create a new chart. In my first chart, I want to display a breakdown of sales per location. So in order to do that, I know that the title represents location. As you can see, we have central, east, and west. And I want to display the total. Perfect. Now, I don't think this is the best way to display a breakdown. I do prefer a pie chart. So let's do that. Um, in order to do that, all you have to do is go back to insert. And here, select the pie chart you like best. I do like this pie chart better, but I can. I wanted to switch the design a little bit. So let's click on the paintbrush and choose a design that you like best. I always like the ones with the percentage breakdowns inside. And don't forget to title your chart appropriately. sales by location okay so let's go back to our table and create another chart Again, okay, same process insert pivot chart pivot chart and pivot table our table should create on its own by now and let's keep the new worksheet as well perfect and now here I'd like to see um, a breakdown of sales per representative. I want to see how each one of my employees are performing. So let's create that. Let's enable rep and total. And I do like this bar chart. I do think it's appropriate. So I'm going to keep it as is, but always remember to title your charts. Okay, perfect. And let's create one more chart. Let's go into back into our table. Follow the same process. Click insert, pivot chart, pivot chart, and pivot table. 
Okay. And let's click OK. And now for my last chart, I do want to show the profit margin. So the unit cost versus the revenue generated by selling those units. So in order to do that, all I have to do is go into unit cost, enable total as well. And there we go. But I'd like to be able to see the numbers. So let's edit our chart. Let's go back to insert. Maybe there's a better fitting type chart. Let's see what we have. I do like the comparison. I do prefer that better. Let's just switch the style and design a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can see, and let's not forget to title this. Let's insert a text box. Now we've titled it appropriately. All right, and this concludes part one. In part one, we covered how to export to Excel and create various charts from the data. And in part two, we're gonna learn how to combine all these charts into one page and make sure that your data is always up to date. Thank you for joining us in another video and hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for part two.